the first level bullets formatted in a 24 point font italic with an arrow shaped bullet style. So in this video we're going to be working with the bullets on the master slide. So in your PowerPoint presentation, so we'll start on the master slide, so that's view, slide master. Remember always go to the top. So these are your bullets over here. So this is the first level bullet or bullets, second level, third level, fourth, fifth, etc. So they say the first level bullets must be 24 point font size italic with an arrow shaped bullet style. So 24, so I'm going to highlight the first bullet. So home, I'm going to make it 24. Then we're going to make it italic. And then we're going to make it with an arrow shaped bullet style. So I'm going to go to the bullets over here and the arrow shaped bullets. Uh, these are arrow shaped, so we can click on these. And there we go. So the first level bullets have changed. So theoretically, if I go to now slide master and close master view and look at the first bullet of every slide, um, or basically the first level bullets, those that haven't been tabbed up, they should have the arrow next to them. So close master view. And you can see all the bullets now. All of these are first level bullets. So every single bullet would have that arrow shaped bullet. Uh, let's just have a look at the next question. So now we're going to just make sure that we've done everything in the master slide. So apply all master slide elements to all slides. Okay, so master slide elements. So in the master slide, so view slide master, we go to the top slide. Every single box here is a master slide element. So the title, these bullets here, the slide number, the date, and our information, the footer. So we've got to make sure every single one is displayed. So, so far we know that this box has been displayed, the bullet box is being displayed, the slide number and our information is being displayed on every slide, but not the date. So just to make sure that the date is shown as well, so that's insert header and footer, and we're going to tick the date and apply to all. So now every single one of these boxes is going to be on our slide slides. So we've got a slide master and let's just double check. So close master view and there we go. The title's present, the bulleted box is present, the slide number, the date and our information. That's all shown on every slide. So that's what they mean by apply all master slide elements to all slides. Uh, make sure no master slide element text or chart overlap each other on any slide. So just going back to view slide master just gonna make sure that these boxes aren't overlapping all right so you go to the top one my bad you go to the top one so this box is not overlapping for example this text is not going over this text um, so nothing is being cut off by any other box but like I said if it is you can move things around like we did in the previous video Remember, we made the bullets box a bit smaller for example you can make this smaller you could drag this box down because then this won't overlap this box. But um, that's fine. So I think everything's fine here. Close master view. We can just check by eye. Is anything overlapping? So as we go through these slides, you can see that pretty much nothing is being overlapped by any other text. So that is correct. So when you are finished with your master slide, so pretty much once we've done every single instruction here, because it said create a master slide, and another way to say working on a master slide is if it says that you've got to make sure to make um, certain features appear on all slides, then when we finish with this step, to get out of the master slide, it's like we've been doing, you just go to slide master at the top and close master view. And then you just have a look at your slides and just make sure everything looks okay before you continue. But that is the end of this video.